What's going on, Libra? This is Solomon. These are going to be your messages for the week of February the 6th to the 12th of 2017. All right. So let's start out with the cluster here. Now, you are the third sign, I believe, that um, the Five of Swords did pop out for, and the other two were Leo and Virgo. And uh, I do feel here that the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Swords, there is a lot of thoughts and communication. You are an air sign, so you know these cards are quite naturally going to show up a lot of times for you. Um, now, the Ten of Swords can speak about an ending of some kind, a feeling hurt, a feeling stabbed in the back. A lot of you may feel that you're, you know, hurt from someone because they have left you. They may not be communicating with you. And this could cause some arguments and some resistance within you uh, due to some kind of change or letting go. Um, if someone is kind of um, rubbing you the wrong way, you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This could be having something to do with your children. All right. Um, some of you could be having an energy of a childlike energy where you're not being very mature about your situation, where you're allowing your emotions and the thoughts that you have, um, verbalizing different things that you know possibly don't need to be said. But sometimes things do need to be said, but it's the way that you are saying them that matters. So try not to come off so harsh uh, in a situation because you do feel a bit hurt and you know it's having you to react in this way. Um, and it could have to do with three different people. You do see three different people in this situation here, um, or four. You know, there are four different people, one, two, three, four, um, as a fourth person. So it's like uh, everyone has their back turned towards one another in this situation, as you see, and it's leading to nothing good. However, when I do see the Ten of Swords, it's leading to an ending that needs to take place, or something that you do have to let go of. And I do feel like, um, this could also be, when I was shuffling the card, this card kind of came out like this. And I'm like, okay, is it going to be reversed or is it upright? Because they mean two different things to me. But I do, um, some of you could be healing um, from some things and it could cause a lot of grief and pain within you. Of course, this card is going to always be about healing. If someone is acting in this way, it's about something that has been going on that they're really not liking. So um, there needs to be some time in a situation with the thoughts and the things that you may be going through when it comes to communicating with someone. All right. So this cluster that we have here, I do feel that some of you um, could be coming across as a manipulative in a situation if you are trying to get something to go in the way that you want to. There's a lot of thoughts about decision making and a lot of you are um, having troubles with making a decision. Maybe you're waiting for someone else to kind of come clean about how they feel about you and maybe this is part of that manipulative kind of energy where someone is using their words. Um, Sometimes it's purposely ignoring you or not speaking in a way to kind of get you to react in a negative way. So this could be coming towards you or you could be sending this out towards someone else. It's like the um, moon is in reverse and this always comes about where a lot of truth is being revealed uh, through your dreams, through the subconscious. A lot of things that you have been thinking about uh, for some time, it may come to light in different forms. But just make sure that if you are communicating to someone that you are being fair and honest so that... Um, that kind of good energy that you want to experience can come back to you and that karma is not building up in a negative light um you don't want to experience that so if you are dealing with the magician it could be an aries or anyone that you are dealing with i'm um, kind of you know have that person be gone you know out, out of your life in a way because you know that it's not going to do anything for either of you to give into this kind of energy all right so here we have another cluster all right and this cluster is the Two of Cups. You have the Five of Wands, the Devil, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. It doesn't have to be that sign. But I feel here that your intuition is very strong. I feel that if, say, if someone is being dishonest about how they truly feel about you, I feel like there's a lot of inner conflict within you that's having troubles with seeing the truth and reality of a situation. I do feel that there is good energy here for some of you, for a lot of you out here within the situation. Because the Two of Cups talks about agreements and contracts uh, coming about when it comes to a soulmate connection or potential um, dating someone. A harmonious connection that can last a long time. But there are a lot of lessons with this uh, soulmate card. If you can kind of see here, you can look at the 
uh, female and look at the male. The female is kind of angry, you know, very angry, having gone through a lot of issues in a relationship or marriage. And the male is kind of timid, like he doesn't even want to touch her because of the way that she might um, kind of flip out. So that's what I talk about when I mean the, the lessons in a soulmate connection. There are a lot of things that are needing to be learned by the individuals here. And I feel like if you do have a strong connection with someone, your dreams, again, are going to be amplified. With the Queen of Cups, is all about transformation, um, receiving intuitive insights through some kind of psychic um, intuition or abilities where um, if someone is being dishonest with you, you can see the reality through a situation that's going to have you, um, if someone is hiding, say, conflict. If you're trying to get in touch with someone, but they're still dealing with someone else, there's some kind of conflict or something that's brewing that they may not be telling you about. So you have to use your intuition here. In, in other words, I do feel like there's some kind of conflict that be, that could be happening within you where some of you are not willing to express yourself and open yourself up enough to another person. And due to some kind of fears that are going on where you could be hiding something that you're keeping close to your chest just depends on what that is. But I feel like you have to use your intuition here to know what connections are very strong for you. The Five of Wands energy is not really good to see. It's not like the Five of Swords, which is very brutal, but this is like... um. Uh, Things disagreeing with you energetically, you know, uh, disagreements with how to do certain things, how to um, visit one another, when to come see one another, how to do things when it comes to your job, projects and different things, working out, doing things around the home, dealing with your children, many different things that you could be experiencing with this five of wands, um, disagreements with your partner, okay? So we do have here another cluster of the... Star as a major arcana, you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. So, a lot of Swords energy, of course. Now, we have the Star, which is about um, hopes, uh, dreams coming true, inspiration, seeing a, a spark of some kind. And I feel that if a lot of you, if you haven't already, you may, this week, you may have communicated uh, something that you have been feeling. And this is about new beginnings, telling the truth, having the power and courage to come clean about anything that you have been holding back. And I feel like the Seven of Pentacles, after you communicate, you may be disappointed because you may not receive the response or the message that you want um, from that particular um that outlet or whatever you may have said to this person so it's still the universe is still telling you to be stern don't be overly emotional about it if you don't receive the message or the feedback that you want i feel like this time you have to stand up for yourself and make sure that you're not being treated in a in a way that's not really going to serve you you know you know what you can and will and won't um tolerate in relationships so i feel like the star in this card here is about new beginnings and you finally having the courage to actually stand up for yourself and communicate your needs. You could be actually fo focused on an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. I mean, this person is a, in, a, in a good light. You may be seeing them in a very good light and they could be coming to you to communicate something. So there could be some energies that you could be dealing with. All right. So let's get into, hmm, all right, this cluster here. So this cluster does speak about um, love opportunities, um, a choice in a love arrangement, in a marriage, a long-term relationship. Um, also, it's about friendships and business partnerships as well. Some of you could be moving on from a love relationship and it could be, you know, heartbreaking or the separation between you two that is uh, permanent or temporary is having you very um, sad and kind of uh, withdrawn in a way because you are moving literally across state or relocating from a different um, job or a source of income or something like that that you could have been experiencing. But I do feel like the separation between you two is kind of um, hurtful in a certain situation. You could be dealing with uh, a Gemini, but a lot of uh, swords here. So maybe a lot of communication or a lack thereof, which could cause you some heartbreak. So it just depends on what you're going through. I do feel here with this cluster, though, the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and you have the Eight of Swords. So it's like because of the delays and maybe travel, communication, you know, seeing one another, doing different things together, you feel um, sad about it. You feel overwhelmed. Uh, sometimes this is having more things on your plate than you are able to handle. Sometimes you are able to handle it, but you don't see how because it's so much going on with your energy, with your, the thoughts that you may be having. Emotionally, you may be torn. 
So some of you may be feeling a bit isolated and feel like you want to give up. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are, but it feels like um, you may want to just give up and just kind of just, you know, throw things away because things are not progressing in the way that you want to. For some reason, for some of you, you are feeling a bit restricted in certain situations or arrangements, right? Um, but we do have some, we have some good energy here. You know, that Ace of Swords and that Star card was very good energies. And we have, for the last cluster I want to show you, we have the Page of Cups, we have the World, we have the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So here is, it looks like a new relationship or something new is brewing emotionally as well. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces Scorpio Cancer. It could be the birth of a new child. It could be you, um, someone from your past kind of returning to your life. It could be someone that you have not seen in a while. And maybe you take a trip with this person. I feel like if you... Um, if you have found closure within a past relationship or a love life situation that you are moving into something new and this is the world is about closure um protection when it comes to the universe about things going right the six of cups you know generosity receiving giving taking um good harmony um good feelings of uh, nostalgia coming back to you and it could have to do with the child that you're surrounded by or a potential partner of some kind where there's some good energy and maybe going out on a date seeing one another um texting and things like that so there's some kind of completion and some kind of uh new beginnings and new cycles that are taking place when it comes to a new relationship that's possible all right so let's uh look at the uh, romance angels uh, card from during virtual and see what's going on with you for in the week of February the um, 6th to the 12th. Energy for Libra. February 6th to the 12th, 2017. Sorry. Romantic energy for Libra. February 6th to the 12th, 2017. <coughs> Retreat. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. So this is where you may want to um disassociate yourself from outside interference when it comes to your marriage or relationship and focus on you two in a single way that you are um having a conversation about things that need to be discussed instead of others kind of dabbling in your situation because you two knows best and i feel like for others of you if you are single there's a need to take some time for yourself and before you jump into a situation that's not quite healthy for you. You may not be ready. Your partner may not be ready. And even though you may be wanting to rush the situation to come about, um, I feel like you have to take some time for you to recharge, to kind of clear out the energies that you're having when it comes to um, this, these arguments or any kind of anger that you may have and to get rid of this kind of heavy energy here. So retreating can mean different things. You could be going on that retreat with your partner or you need to truly take some time for yourself. So you would know what this means for you, right? So, I do hope that y'all have a fantastic week, Libra. If you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be specific for you. Much love and much light.